the only thing that gives me peace, true peace, peace that I've never felt before. Like I said, I've tried drugs, alcohol, partying, sex, just every, every sin you can possibly think of, everything that the world says is pleasurable, that is all just short term, like, it just, it never fills your cup. It never fills it up. It's like you have this hole in your heart and you try to fill it with money and goals and dreams and whatever, all the things of this world. And it's like short term, it's like, yeah, this makes me feel better. But then you always get used to it and get back down to that same level. And I never felt whole, even though outwardly it's like I put on a good show, you know, like I, I, I looked like I was fine and blah, 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 whatever. At, during these last four months, over and over and over, I can't go a day without thinking about God. I can't go a day. It changed everything. When I, over that first week after getting saved, it was like I had felt something, truly felt like my old heart was like ripped out of me and a new one was given to me where so quickly, like it literally felt like 50% of my problems went away just like instantly. And the other 50% were like slowly being worked out and they still are being worked out. But just like, it's crazy how quickly everything changed. I started loving and desiring Christian music. Oh, it just gives me so much peace. It's the only thing I listen to now. I love it. It felt like the blinders were removed. It felt like all these years I thought I could see clearly and I couldn't. And I was finally given glasses and I was able to look at the world at the way that it is. And I'm like, holy moly, like, I've been so blind all these years and I thought I was seeing clearly. I thought I was smart. I thought I knew what was going on. I had no idea. I guess the best way to explain it is just like, when you feel the love from your creator, when you feel that love for the first time, you just feel something that is so beyond powerful that Oh God, I love you so much, Lord. Oh, it is just like, you feel something so amazing and, and it just touches you in a way that like you've never felt before and you've tried everything. Like you've never felt this love before and you finally feel peace for the first time. You've thought you've felt peace, you know, throughout your life. You've what you think peace feels like, there's so much more to it. There is so much more. And the only way to get it is Jesus. Like Jesus is the only answer. He is the only answer. I'm telling you, and like we're literally born wanting to turn away from God. It's like our flesh, our flesh just like desires like goals and dreams and ego and pride and like all this stuff. And I'm telling you, you know, even smoking weed, even drinking, like I wanted to stop drinking. I was tired of like waking up hungover and like feeling terrible and then feeling better by the next weekend and then going and drinking again and then feeling terrible again and just like caught in this cycle. Like I always wanted to change that, but, um, I couldn't, I couldn't change these things on my own. I couldn't change my anger issues on my own. I couldn't stop smoking weed, didn't wanna stop smoking weed. It was like, I was trying to, I was trying to be better and I was trying to improve these things myself all these years, but it was so difficult and I could never do it. And I, it, I was just like trapped in this cycle, almost got to a point of just accepting it all. And as soon as I found Jesus, he literally ripped out my old heart, replaced it with a new one. My desires instantly changed. And like, since getting saved, I've literally given up every, every sin you can imagine. And he's still working on me and I'm not perfect yet, but it is crazy. It is a night and day difference. And all these things are happening naturally. Like, I hated the Bible, now I love the Bible. Like the Bible is like, oh, I love it so much. It's like all the answers were right in front of me all along. But like, you know, life got tough. I, I hardened my heart and turned away from God. But I did that for so many years and tried everything myself and nothing ever worked. And finally finding Jesus, 
I'm telling you, it is the only true thing of this life. It is the truest thing. This is not some like psychosis I'm in either. I'm the most logical person that many people know. Like I'm a very logical, factual person. I feel something from this that words just can't explain besides this is the way, the truth, and the life. Oh, Lord, I love you so much. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful and blessed to um, just have God in my life. Like, man, what a difference it has made. Like, I don't even know how I went all these years denying him. Like, I don't know how I went all these years. And like, it, it's just like you just... Satan blinds you. He blinds you and convinces you that like you you think you know what you're doing and you're so, so wrong. I thought religion used to just be like, I don't know, like, man, I'm just going to have like, I don't want to give up partying. I like smoking weed. It makes me feel better. I don't want to, I don't want to feel bad about doing that or whatever. And it's crazy. You convince yourself like you just can't, you just can't see it the way that it truly is. You think that it's all these rules and all this just stuff where you're just like, dude, like, and it's crazy. It's like all my friends, none of them are religious. So I was afraid to take the first step because it's like, man, if this is real, I'm going to lose all my friends. I'm going to lose my girlfriend. I'm going to lose maybe my business. I'm going to lose everything. I was scared. I was so scared and I didn't want to. I didn't want to give all these things up. But as soon as I decided to take that first step it's just like you're literally given a new heart and your desires change completely so you're just like you're almost happy to give it all up I guess for anyone who's just like trying to figure it out like please please take my advice just do it just do it I wish I did this sooner you know if the Lord's starting to put this on your heart, like, just take that first step, and he will come into your life, and he will take care of the rest, and just trust him. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. That's my story. Um, so I, I, I hope this helps.